The Air Change Group would like to present ERV and HRV units explained, what they are used for and how they work. First of all, ERV stands for Energy Recovery Ventilator, while HRV stands for Heat Recovery Ventilator. Both of these have very similar functions and the terms are somewhat interchangeable, but there is an important difference between them, which we will explain later in this video. To explain what HRVs and ERVs are used for, it is essential to understand that buildings need fresh air for indoor air quality. The amount of ventilation needed in commercial spaces is generally determined by the occupancy levels. This is because greater amounts of people occupying an indoor space results in more CO2 being produced as they breathe. And this means that more fresh air is required to make the indoor space comfortable and allow people to continue to breathe or sometimes fresh air is required to replace polluted air that is being exhausted outside, from say a bathroom. This allows a neutral room pressure to be maintained. Ventilation rates have also been a talking point during the COVID-19 pandemic. This is because increased fresh air in buildings reduces transmission rates by diluting the concentration of virus particles in the air. Now, it is easy to introduce fresh air into an indoor space when the weather is mild as it will not interfere with indoor comfort levels. But what happens when the weather is more extreme? If you are wanting to maintain an indoor temperature of say 24 degrees Celsius, but it is currently 35 degrees Celsius outside, then introducing fresh air will make the indoor space warmer. The opposite is true too. If it is cold outside, then introducing fresh air will make the indoor space colder. Any difference in temperature between outside and inside requires extra energy to keep the indoor space at a comfortable condition. In fact, the greater the temperature difference, the greater the energy demand. The extra heating or cooling capacity needed because of this is commonly referred to as the outside air load. Just as a side note, the outside air load is separate to the room load. The room load is the heat that is gained or lost not by fresh air ventilation, but by heat transferring through the building fabric, the walls and windows, etc. Or it can refer to heat generated from inside the space itself, like from electrical devices. The outside air load plus the room load determines how hard air conditioning equipment needs to work. So basically, providing fresh air ventilation to maintain comfortable and healthy indoor conditions comes at the cost of energy and a lot of it. For example, if it is currently five degrees Celsius outside and you want to maintain 21 degrees Celsius inside, then 1,000 liters a second of fresh air ventilation, which caters for approximately 100 people, will require 20 kilowatts of additional heating capacity to address the outside air load. That's equivalent to four or five times the output of a typical wall-mounted split system. This is where ERV and HRV units help. Their purpose is to minimise an outside air load when supplying fresh air to a building and save large amounts of energy. They achieve this by transferring heat, or energy, between air being exhausted outside and fresh air being introduced inside. This way, indoor heat or energy can be reclaimed in a heating scenario and outside heat or energy can be rejected in a cooling scenario. To explain further, let's look at the same example as before, but with a HRV unit. The 1,000 litres a second of fresh air enters the HRV and passes through an air-to-air -air heat exchanger before being supplied to the space. 1,000 litres a second of air being exhausted from the building also enters the HRV, where it passes through the other side of the air-to-air -air heat exchanger. Integrated fans provide the supply and exhaust airflow. In the air-to-air -air heat exchanger, some of the heat from the warm exhaust air transfers to the cold outside air without the air mixing and raises the supply air temperature. So, if the air-to-air -air heat exchanger has a sensible only effectiveness of 80%, which is possible, then the supply air will no longer be 5 degrees Celsius, but instead 18 degrees Celsius. This equates to a 16 kilowatt saving. The same process occurs in a cooling scenario. Except in this case, the heat transfers from the hot outside air to the cool air being exhausted outside. This reduces the temperature of the supply air and also saves energy. But if this is a HRV, how is an ERV different? Well, HRVs only allow heat, or in other words, temperature, to transfer between the fresh air and exhaust air streams. ERVs, on the other hand, allow humidity to be transferred as well. This is useful in tropical climates, 
as it prevents excessive amounts of humidity from entering an indoor space. Here humidity, along with temperature, is transferred from the fresh air stream to the exhaust air stream and prevents most of the humidity from entering the indoor space. ERVs can also be used in cold climates to keep humidity inside a building. When outdoor air is particularly cold, it holds very little moisture. So heating it up and supplying it indoors will make indoor humidity levels very low. But if an ERV is used, most of the humidity being exhausted outside will be transferred back to the supplier and reclaimed by the indoor space. Given that ERVs are suitable for tropical and very cold climates, HIVs are most suitable for temperate climates where humidity is generally not a concern. AirChange have been manufacturing ERVs and HIVs for over 20 years. Our ERV HIV product range includes ceiling mounted units of airflow 70 litres a second to 1200 litres a second. We also have rooftop or plant room mounted units of airflows 250 litres a second to 16,000 litres a second or more. Further, we have our rooftop packaged unit range which combines air to air heat or energy recovery with DX refrigeration to manage both the outside air load and room load. And I can't forget our wall mounted unit. This supplies up to 280 litres a second of fresh outside air to an indoor space. So if you need to maintain high indoor air quality while minimising energy consumption, contact an air change rep for all your ERV and HRV needs. And visit our website at airchange.com.au